Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous ferry barge is still afloat. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. A security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag of those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, Weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. The kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Spot for a break, cause the core is right there. Watching his every move. 
They had their own eyes on the core. But why? He finds a weeping Nelly raring to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. She's gonna need a little help with all that peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man, or plain old fool, to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. That's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? <laughs> there the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? Yeah, that's the one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? And besides, it's like the song goes. They'll be here before too long. Got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it, her father's own journal. The Trappers, daring bunch of fools. They'll be missed. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Behold, 